I just made it to Micro Center and it's about 9.25 a.m. Let's see if they still have any GPUs in stock. Here we go, Micro Center, some people walking out with some GPUs. We'll see. It's like 9.30, so they already opened. We're gonna go in. There's no line now, obviously, but there were people in line before. So we're gonna see what happens. If you guys want to see if I was able to actually get one myself in person today, remember to subscribe and smash that like button so we reach 50,000 subscribers soon. Pretty empty about a half hour later. Not too many people. Let's see what they have. I went in person to my local micro center and I also checked out what was happening on Newegg. Best Buy. This was like a very weird launch. You're not going to believe how many GPUs my local store got. It was a little bit shocked and even more, you're not going to believe what type they were. This was nothing that I've ever seen before. The They're all the power cards. Like yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, I guess they just make them for them. Did you get a lot today or no? So apparently my local store, according to them got around 20 of the XTX that's the one that's $999 and they got around maybe 40 of the XT which is going to be the little bit weaker model the interesting thing to note here is they were all reference additions now here is the one that I was able to get by the time that I got there, which was only a little bit after opening, the XTX of course had sold out but this is the XT they look very similar there we go, 7900 XT. Not very big at all, very nice. A nice GPU, really nice build quality. Whew, that is pretty nice, very solid actually, and, but not too big, but still very solid feeling. It's actually really, really good build quality on this reference edition. Very, very hefty feeling. Um, it's an impressive GPU. This is it next to the 6900 XT. It's a lot more understated. I actually prefer this better. Definitely looks a lot cooler, I think, with that sort of like blacked out look. But this isn't a bad looking GPU either. Very good build quality. But of course, this one, at least physically, feels very impressive. And of course, it's much smaller than like a 4080 or something like that. And of course, only two 8-pin PCIe slots aside from like having a weird connector like the 4080s do. So in the past, I mean, Micro Center has sold these reference models. In fact, I think I got this one from Micro Center, but it was like way after release. Generally, they're going to have only the AIB GPUs like from Power Color and from things like that. They said those are coming in a few weeks. When I checked around online, such as Best Buy and Newegg, it took a while for the GPUs to come in, in stock. It wasn't exactly 9 a.m. When I saw on Newegg, they did have some, but I never really saw them in stock for very long, aside from maybe one or two. This guy here was $8.99, and yes, they were the exact MSRP, um, since this is the reference edition. Now, I think in the US, we're going to be lucky to get a lot of these. I don't think they're getting nearly as many in Europe, and in some countries, they're not going to get any at all. So this is definitely the cheapest that you're going to be able to find an XT. Now, all of the other third-party models likely will be at least $9.99 or above so you are saving some money but if you read some of the reviews the reference model as cool as it looks i'm not sure if it's going to be necessarily the best one um, some of the thermals may be an issue some of the power delivery you may be able to get a better gpu getting something like asus or power color this generation but you're definitely going to have to pay a little more as well for that upgraded performance now would i recommend this at 899 dollars i mean it does look really awesome if you go by build quality it's uh, just as good as any other GPU. But I don't really think it's that great of a very fun to spin the fans here, by the way. I don't really think it's that great of a value. Much like the 4080 is a good GPU, but not a good value. This is not a good value. If you can find the XTX, 
definitely get that over this every single time for only $100. It's a no-brainer. I guess the trick is you're not going to find the XTX as easily as this. Like today, they had 20 XTX compared to 40 of these. And of course, the 20 sold out, even though they have a higher price. They were the first ones to go. And then these actually stayed in stock for several hours after the store opened. I was there for actually quite a while, and they started putting them in the display case. So they didn't sell out of these. By the end of the day, maybe they'll sell out. I mean, they had 40 to begin with. And then when I took this picture, it was still a decent amount. By the time I left, they had sold a couple more. So I'm sure they'll eventually sell out of these. And who knows the next time they get a shipment, how big it's going to be or not. But in my opinion, this launch was not as big as the 4090. I mean, 60 GPUs compared to like 150 plus. 4090s in the same store. I'm using this store to gauge sort of at least what we got in terms of locally. But if you extrapolate this out to, you know, Newegg and Best Buy, you see a lot of the same things. These GPUs seem to have not really been available for too long, meaning that there weren't too many big quantities of them. Now, interestingly enough, I also jumped on the AMD website and I was able to get in line in the queue and I was able to get in line and see that I could purchase one of these as well. But the XTX was sold out and that one well, definitely was not able to get, making me think that not only do more people want to buy it, they have a lot less of that GPU, even though it is more expensive. I like going in person and seeing what the sort of demand and the frenzy is for these GPUs. Honestly, this was very like mild and lukewarm. People just didn't seem very excited for either this one or the XTX all that much. I mean, sure, it does tend to rival the 4080 in the reviews that we've seen, but at the end of the day, it doesn't completely beat it, especially in ray tracing, and it's still an expensive GPU. It's still $1,000. It's not like we're talking about beating a 4080 for seven or 800 bucks. If this guy here at 899, beat a 4080, that would tend to be a lot more impressive in my opinion, because then 899 versus 1199, that's going to be a lot bigger of a, a gap. But at $1,000, and then we look at some of these AIB 7900 XTX that are going to be coming out and more available to a lot more of the population, those are going to be basically the same price as the lower end 4080s. And I'm not too sure at that point which one is really going to be worth it more because then you might as well get a 4080 and get basically the same performance, but you're getting more ray tracing plus typically better content creation like 3D, um, you know, 3D type of workloads, blend their things like that and streaming are still superior on the nvidia gpus even though to amd's credit they did catch up to a lot of different areas and they're definitely improving even in ray tracing they're doing a lot better than they were before but it's just not on the nvidia level especially for a similar price that's my point here oh yeah 899 for this gpu i mean it'll probably beat like a 3090 close to a 3090 ti or something like that this one on average seems to be 10 to 17 percent slower lower than uh you know the xtx version so i don't know 899 i mean it's not terrible for this price it's probably the cheapest you're going to find this one the reference edition and it is built really well like if you went by the actual gpu without even turning it on like it feels solid like there's really doesn't even feel like plastic it's all heavy metals and the surfaces do i do want to say how well this feels in the hand very impressive in the back here you see the ports so it looks like we're going to have um, two display ports, a USB-C, and then HDMI. And then, of course, one benefit of these um, AMD GPUs, you're going to have a lot better technology with the display port than NVIDIA offers, giving you more future proofing. If you want to run 8K, you know, high refresh rate in the future, something like this will be able to do it because of the upgraded display port. And that's just going to be a little bit nicer overall. But right now, it's not that big of a deal since even the 4090 will be able to handle most displays that are available out now. So right now, the GPU market is, you know, a little bit weird. Like you either go for the super high end, the 4090 remains untouchable, but that also not only goes for the performance, it also goes for the availability. I haven't seen very many pop up at all, even sort of the more basic models. The 4080 has been in stock, but the price is too high for what you're getting. 7900 XTX so far seems to be pretty sold out even on the AMD site, Micro Center, that's going to be probably difficult to get. This one and the 4080 are available, however, the XT. So then the question becomes, let's say if your budget is $900 or less, 
On the NVIDIA side, the only thing you're going to be able to get is maybe a 3090, 3090 Ti, maybe. It might not be new. You might have to get used. At that point, it's pretty close to this. Would you want a new GPU for 899 instead of a 3090 Ti? I don't know. It starts to become, you know, then you have to see your preference on the NVIDIA side. If maybe you're going to do content creation, um, ray tracing will still be better on the 3090 Ti. You need the XTX to catch up to the 3090 Ti. This one's going to be a little bit less. So definitely interesting. Now, the GPU that could really throw a wrench into all this will be the 4070 Ti. That one is going to be the rebranded 4080 12 gigabyte, most likely coming out actually in a few weeks. That one may hit around the early January time period. That one was 899 as a 4080. If Nvidia prices it at 799, it could actually be pretty competitive with this guy. So, if it comes pretty close performance-wise and ray tracing is better and it's an Nvidia GPU that's actually available, potentially for 799 we could see it actually start to become very competitive in that little bit lower high-end range don't get me wrong 800 dollars is still very high end it's still very expensive we're yet to get to the battle between everything else it looks like at least for now the gpus in that four to six seven hundred dollar range are going to be mostly the high-end stuff from last generation like you know a 6900 xt for 600 bucks is probably mid-range at this point it's not high end it's not 4090 anymore so likewise with like a 3080 if you can get one for 600 bucks that's going to be the mid-range going for now and there are a lot of them available especially on the used market even though they have been drying up at retail so makes sense nvidia would hold back some of that stock so overall this was an interesting launch i've never seen so many founder editions or reference editions rather um, be launched at micro center on one day so that shows you AMD at least wanted to make sure to get these out there. It's going to be interesting to see how availability stacks up during the next few weeks. The 4080 stayed in stock and is pretty available in a lot of places, but the 4090 disappeared. I think the same thing might happen with the XTX and this one, the XT, we're probably going to see it in stock a little bit more often than something like its higher end $999 brother, but at least good that these are finally out into gamers' hands. We'll see if they have an impact on the GPU market, so remember to subscribe subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video. If you guys want to see if I was able to actually get one myself in person today, remember to subscribe and smash that like button so we reach 50,000 subscribers soon.